welcome to code mania the best site to learn best thing in a best possible manner like us on facebook facebook slash code mania hi everyone this is the process flow diagram of the requirement where user one user wants to display the opportunity details and the lead details by selecting a campaign from the from the campaign list the campaign list contains all the campaign records so first we need to get all the campaign records in the class initialization then record names and id need to be added in the list option to display in the select list in the visual force page so mm, then create the select list um, select list option using the apex tag select list in the visual force page after that create a method to get opportunity record details for the selected campaign id so when you select the op, um, select the campaign id from the via page using the select list option the method will get the opportunity record details in a list then call the method this uh, get opportunity details using the action support on the event change on request after that display the return record in the page block table that will incorporate all the methods to get the opportunity details by selecting a campaign from a link select list after that re-render the page block table on change of the list value that means when you change the value from the select list from one to another you need to re-render the page block table then create a method to get the campaign member record details for the selected campaign id and save save it then select the camp then create a method to get campaign member record details for the selected campaign id and save the returned lead id in the list of string that means when you select the campaign member you are uh, returning all the details of campaign id for for that campaign member and the lead id into the string it means you are fetching the record of the campaign member using that campaign id and the saving the lead ids from that campaign member into the list of string after that you are creating a method to get lead records details for those retrieved lead IDs that means the lead IDs which has been saved into the list of string you are uh, running a query to get the lead records uh, where these uh, lead IDs are in list of uh, list of IDs after that you display the return lead records in the into the page in a page block table and re-render the page block table when this list select list option is changed with proper analyzation of the requirement here is the visual description visual process flow of the requirement in here we are fetching the campaign members using the campaign id one is to in relation here in campaign members having the same campaign id and in campaign members might have in lead ids so uh, you are getting the list of list, uh, lead ids in a string list of string using that string ids you can fetch the lead records uh, select id from the lead where id in uh, that list of string thank you so first create a apex page 
कैंपेन टेस्ट टू एंड फॉलो द प्रोसीड्योर एस पर द प्रोसेस फ्लो क्रिएट ए एपिक्स पेज ब्लॉक with page block title as campaign details then on apex page apex output level as select campaign from the list now we need to use the standard controller as campaign along with the extension as c campaign 2 always remember the best practice of use custom controller along with standard controller is to use as extension then we need to get we need to use form now here in c controller first we need to define the list of campaign select so we have all the campaigns in this list now display the list in the select list apex tag we need to fetch all the campaign records in a list option for this we need to create a method as public in this select option we first define a list of select option as temp list is equal to new select option in this temp list we should add a new select option for campaign t camp obj we should use this list which is full of campaign records in it so for each and every campaign there will be execution of some method which method will add this new select option of first is value then its level so 
we are using this dot id comma this dot name here we have page id and name in the list temp list and save it we need to put the value attribute in the select option use these values the list option so we need to use campaign and the select list value should be initialize a string string and the value is null here see this is the label and this is the list size to display in a pick list format this we have all the campaign details